Salam, welcome to Stitching Cuisines. It's been a long time since we cooked together. I was busy presenting in educational conferences, but today I am back and I'm happy that we'll cook a new meal. Our new meal today, ma'lube, in English means upside down. Many of my viewers requested this meal and we'll learn in the video why do we call it upside down. I started off by preparing my eggplant. I showed how to prepare the eggplant in a previous video uh, in a meal called eggplant with tomato layer dish. Now I'm going to place my eggplant in the oven 400 degree in the middle rack. The authentic ma'lube is made by lamb meat or chicken, but I will show you how to make it also vegetarian. Now I will show you how to prepare the lamb meat. First step, I soak the lamb meat in vinegar for 30 minutes. Second step, I place my meat in water and turn on the heat high and leave it to boil. As you see, the fat has risen to the top. Third step, I will drain the water and you know wash the meat. Now I will cook my meat. The same water I will be cooking the meat in, I will use it to cook the rice. I'm going to use basmati rice today. Each cup of basmati rice needs one and a half cup of water. I will add now my spices. For ma'lube, along with the ground spices, I use whole spices. Bay leaves, cardamom, nutmeg, uh, pepper, uh, corns, and uh, what else? Cinnamon and cloves. I'm going to close this in my strainer. And, oh, oops. What's up? Place it in the water. Yeah. And now I will add the ground spices. First, I will add the mashed garlic. the salt, the seven spices, the black pepper, the cardamom, the safflower, and our cinnamon. And make sure, just you know, mix it together like that. And cover our pot and put it in medium, put the heat in medium and leave it until the meat is well done. For the vegetarian meal, we use the same spices with the same amount of water, but without meat or chicken. Our meat is ready now. And of course, because the less meat you have, the quicker will be cooked. The water has evaporated, so I'm going to add one cup of water. The meat is ready, now it's time to set up our meal. Ma'lube is made of layers. Our eggplant is ready, our meat is ready, and I already prepared the rice. I soaked the rice in warm water with a pinch of salt for 30 minutes. I washed it very well and drained the water. Now we'll start with the layers. First, we'll place the meat. You can use any part of the lamb. Today, I am using the leg of lamb. This is our first layer. Now I'm going to put the second layer of my ma'lube, the eggplant. Usually I cover the whole, the entire bottom of my uh, pot with lamb, but this is enough for the meat eaters in my family and because I'm cooking the vegetarian ma'lube. I have set up my ma'lube with meat. Now I will set up my vegetarian ma'lube. We'll have the eggplant. We have no meat or chicken. 
Uh, the bottom of my butt here this make sure covers everything and <laughs> and add the rice Make sure the rice covers the eggplant. Here is the vegetarian one. And now I'll add the third step to my ma'lube, the rice with the meat one. Make sure the rice covers the eggplant and meat. I saved the water with the spices that I cooked the meat in and now I will pour it over the rice. I use the strainer like that and spices smell so good. As you notice the water didn't cover the rice so I'm going to add more water to the pot because it still has some spices. I have to make sure that the rice will be covered with water. I'm going to settle the rice like that and now it's ready to put it over the stove. For the vegetarian malube, I only used a ground spices and I boiled the water. Now I'm going to add it over the rice. This is our last step to cook ma'lube. I brought back my both uh, pots to the stove. I'm going to turn on the heat on high under both of them. Wait until the water is boiling and then cover both pots and lower the heat to low and leave it, leave the meal to finish cooking. My mother taught me if I want to check if the ma'lube is ready or not by bring a fork and stick the end of the fork inside the ma'lube like this. If the fork is wet, that means it's not ready, I will leave it until it's ready. If the end of the fork is dry, that means it's done. So my ma'lube, the end of the fork is dry, ma'lube, my ma'lube is ready and I'll move to the next step. I will kaffir the ma'lube now. This is only a Middle Eastern method. I am heating the vegetable oil. When it's hot, wait a little bit, and I'm going now to pour it over the rice, over the ma'lube. Cover it again. Leave it for two minutes and after two minutes I will turn off the heat and leave the ma'lube to set for five to ten minutes. Our vegetarian ma'lube is still cooking. I will not add any oil to it. Our ma'lubes are now ready. Now you will see why do we call it ma'lube upside down. Leave the ma'lube for a few minutes to hold. Now it's time to reveal our meal. Wow, wow, wow. Looks so good. I will add some roasted pine nuts and almond.
It's time for our vegetarian ma'lube. Slow and easy, as you saw me with the ma'lube with meat. Batul, come and see. Oh my God, that looks so good. <laughs> wow, perfect. <laughs> I'm going to add for you pine nuts and you almonds spatule. Yeah. The best part of maloube when it's down and ready to eat. Oh, ready to eat. Oh my God. <laughs> I am hungry. This <laughs> 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 Baba, we're still filming. Okay, I am hungry. What can I do? Oh my goodness. Can we edit this? Mm. We are hungry too. Delicious. Oh, we Delicious. Too. Also gonna finish Delicious. the entire uh, melube. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Yes. Zakia. Wow. Shahi, you bit shahi. Bit shahi. That'll be quite nice. Alhamdulillah. Don't worry, Batun. Nobody's touching your vegetarian melube. Oh, you guys better not. If you love this recipe as much as I do, visit stitchingcuisines.com. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. مع السلامه